Okay. Little did I know, and they, well, she said, "What's your name? What's the baby's name?" I said, "O'Malley." And I said, "She said, whoever it is on the elevator." They were taking it up to mom. <laughs> That's how you met Mary. <laughs> and, uh, on the elevator. <laughs> so uh, we get up to the room or, or where she was recovery, and she kept insisting she didn't have a baby. And I said, yes, she did. I said, it's a little baby girl. It's beautiful. And she was a believer after she got the baby. Well, describe the day that Fred was born. Now, I guess I we were that you were mom and uh, Nancy were playing cards downstairs, and I was upstairs. Did I put on my pajamas that day? Was it was, was uh, no? It was nine o'clock, wasn't it? In the evening. No, I was. We were. I must have been down with you. So anyhow, uh, about that evening, we got uh, Mom and Nancy and had them up. They were going to stay overnight because it was Fred was about ready. We called him, I guess, earlier. You were having some pains. Yeah. They came up, so I said, "I'll, I'll take them down," and. Uh, take her down to the thing and when I get down to the hospital I met Dr. Knopf again and I said I think she's ready he said oh, I'll check her out and he went over and come out he said I ah, said you might as well go home he says uh, he said this is not going to happen until about midnight one o'clock in the morning he says uh, why don't you just go home we'll keep her here and take care of her and uh, he said uh, I know you got the little girl at home so I think I stopped on the way and got some hoagies the Johns for Mom and Nancy, I wasn't hungry. So I had to, Mary was going to sleep with me that night, so we're laying in bed and uh, she's on, I'm over by the phone and she's on the other side sleeping. And about noon midnight, the phone rings. I pick up the phone and it's Dr. Knopf. He said, you got a beautiful, big, big baby boy. <laughs> nine, nine pounds. Nine pound four ounces. Yeah, nine pa <laughs> over nine pounds. He said the fingers and toes and everything's in place. Everything looks good. She's doing well. He's doing well. He said you go back to sleep. He said come in tomorrow morning about eight o'clock, nine o'clock, and I'll we'll let you see him. So I did. I went to sleep. Got up the next morning and went down to the hospital. And that's kind of kind of Fred's thing. You know, how did we find out? You're pregnant with you? Well, hold on, hold on. Huh? Hold on. 